Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Coachman Caravans launch for 2024 and in this vlog I'm going to be looking at their Travelmaster 565 and 545 which will be somewhere over my shoulder. It is a little bit damp today so we'll have to do our best and get cracked on and have a look. This is my first look at the 2024 so we'll see what changes they've made to those fabrics and colour schemes and if you're interested in the Travelmaster this vlog may well be for you. I haven't got all the facts and figures because they haven't been released but they will hopefully at the time of watching this be on the Coachman website. I will put a link in the description below and those all important prices will be there too. Right let's get cracked on. Let us start with the Mercedes chassis based Coachman Travelmaster 565. Coachman Motorhomes new to the market just a couple of years ago and these personally I think are beautiful. I am really taken by these. So for 2024 still the Mercedes uh, chassis then as you can see we've got the white body but with the gold and black decals. I'll just get a little bit closer to the Travelmaster decals just so you can see the colours there. Now this um, 565, these are big, long and heavy motorhomes. So just bear that in mind, but they are beautiful. You do also get the benefit of a garage, as you can see here. I don't know whether this will be open. No, it's not. So I can't show you in there. The back end, I love the back end of the Travel Masters. These are a beautiful back end. We also get a reversing camera, as we can see up there. We'll come round the offside. I'll see if this garage is locked. Yeah, that's locked as well. But on this side, we've got our electric hookup point. We can see the vent there for the Alder. We've got our cassette emptying point. So we know we're going to find the bathroom there. Right, that is the exterior uh, of the 565. Let's venture inside. I'm sure it'll be a little bit drier in here. Uh, let's go. So to get into this model, it has got this lower step. So this is good if you're worried about stepping inside. You don't need to worry about that. In we go. Now these are beautiful. These are absolute luxury. I do know a bit about motorhomes, as you know, and this, this is really, really quite nice. We've got a big skylight up there. You do get blinds on all of these. This is a nice finish. It's almost like a, it looks like a leathery finish, but I'm I think it, I'm not sure whether it is or whether it is just a plastic, but it does have a nice finish it to it. The Coachman uh, Mercedes cab, we've got a really nice system there. Very nice indeed. Automatic as well. The seats, we've got these big leather Coachman seats. They're very nice. The captain's chairs. I'm not sure, I won't pull and push too many things, but that, that obviously alters something as well. The table... Just got a small little table here, as we can see. I'm not sure whether there will be a larger dining table somewhere else. The lounge seat. So you've got these two large sofa seats to sit at. A good amount of floor space. And this 565, it is a four berth model. It has a drop down bed, which the line that there until the front there, that's where the bed will drop down and lower to make two of the berths. I'll turn around. So let's have a look in the kitchen area. So we've got plenty of drawers there. We've got the Thetford oven, grill and hob. I'll just pull these out. So nice soft closed drawers there. We've got the sink with the swivel tap. I imagine that's a swivel tap, yep. A very small little kitchen window. And then we've got these um, cupboards with like a gloss finish to them so some nice nice cupboard space we'll come round again plenty of floor space we've got a large dometic tower fridge and freezer i'll see if this is open yeah so big dometic fridge freezer a dometic microwave as well and then we go back into the bedroom space so these are you can use these single beds or you can use this as one huge like queen size bed so they they're a good length they're a really wide single bed you've got lots of features up there like usbs and plugs and stuff if you can just see up there 
some little um, storage lockers up there. They're quite small and compact. There are speakers as well back here. But yeah, you can either use these as um, singles or I'm not sure if that pulls out or if it comes from the sides. Again, I'd have to have a look. There might just be a separate piece for that. Um, and that will become a big bed. We'll just have a look in here. We've got a little bit of wardrobe space just to the side there. I don't know if you can see that. And that's the same on this side. And this has got some shelving in it and the control for the Alder wet central heating. And I think that's possibly, I'm not sure if the aerial, yeah, the aerial comes in up there. So that's the bedroom space, the storage under this bed as well. Now we have a shower cubicle just here on the near side of the motorhome. If you can see it there, it is actually frosted. I'll open that up. It's not a bad space. You do have some intrusion from a wheel arch there, though. That's one thing I will say. And then the shower itself there on that wall. And then we'll have a look here on the off side into the bathroom space. So we've got a Thetford toilet. That is really low. That's, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Um, I'm not going to sit on it and show you it, but that's quite a low set for toilet. That's taken me by surprise. Um, yeah, a very low set for toilet. And then we've got some uh, mirrors, a cupboard behind that mirror there. And then we've got the sink, a small bowl sink, I'll, I'll say that. And you've got a little bit of intrusion there, but that's your uh, bathroom space. And then we'll look down again into the Travel Master 565. So there we go, 565, uh, island bed. I'll just head out. There we go. Right, let's move on. Travel Master 545. I'll just stop there and just show you the offside of the 545. And then we'll venture in and have a closer look. I do like the, I like the Mercedes chassis. I like the cabs, they're nice. And then the exterior, we can see, we see there, we've got a really huge two-lay wind-out canopy. I'm pointing to the sky again. There we go. Again on this, we've got the garage. We've got various uh, external parts. Let's go in. Right, so this is the island bed layout. This is my personal favourite. I'll just see if I can turn that light around because that's going to blind us, is that? There we go. Right, here we go. The lights are on in here, so it looks a little bit more uh, well illuminated. Again, we've got the, I'll just come backwards, we've got the drop down bed. We've then got the two big captain's chairs, that nice Mercedes cab. We've got the two seats, the little table. And then I'll come round and we've got the kitchen. So kitchen there on the off side, still on the 545. Those nice little cupboards. We've got our control panel, the mirror, the big Dometic tower fridge freezer again, and the um, microwave there, Dometic microwave. And then we go back into the bedroom. And the reason I like this layout is because it has got the massive rear island bed. I do like island beds personally, and I like this layout. I find this layout in a motorhome um, from personal experience of having the layout of the uh, 565 that we've just been in, although not on a coachman, on a different manufacturer, to this, this actually for me gives you more floor space and I actually found that I prefer the island bed. Um, so yeah, I won't, that, that's personal choice, but yeah, I found that from, from my experience. Right, let's have a look. We have the steps going round to get up onto the bed. The garage is underneath the bed, the cold water tank, fresh water will be uh, under the bed as well, I would imagine. It's nicely finished in here. We've got the little wardrobes. I'm not doing full reviews, it's literally a first look, just so you can get an idea of the furnishings and what have you. There's some storage all under there as well. So I think there's, pro it feels like there's more storage in this than the 565, um, just from a first look. Let's have a look in the bathroom. So the bathroom space, we've got the Thetford toilet. 
uh, we've got the same there the sink and the little cupboard and I still can't work out what that does anyway right so that's the bathroom and then we have got the shower opposite as well so let's have a look at that just close that door there we go right the shower i'll open this and there we go right in we go so the shower cubicle on the 545 again it's got the same as the 565 a little bit of loss of floor due to the wheel arch there and i'll close that up and then look back down into the motorhome itself so we've got that big cab space the kitchen area and there we go right i'm gonna venture back out into the yorkshire sunshine as we call it here we go oh, yes there we go right yorkshire sunshine here we go it's raining that is the 545 and the 565 the travel masters from coachman caravans those are the 2024 models and the colours there. If you want to know more about them, I will put a link in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look around. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.